Um, we have a few different things. This um, just last week we planted that we germinated uh, papaya seeds. So we're hoping that they'll grow. It takes about uh, 25 days for them to oh. sprout and 10 months for them to be able to. And all of them, these are going to be plant. part of the project there at the terrazas. All over in the garden. Um, are the terraces or the garden or the, the beds? beds? Yeah, so trees yeah. are bigger, so they're probably. Tell me something. Down. You came all the way down from Israel. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> to plant trees? What's the experience of why? Not, that's not exactly what we do. All right, tell me a little bit why. Okay, <laughs> so basically, we run out the, the whole garden, the whole like this uh, bed, the garden, uh, this nursery, everything is experimental. We are like finding out what's the best way. It's like a menu, you can say. We invite the communities once the, the experiment phase is over and the research phase, you can also say it. And we invite the communities over, and then they see, okay, this is what we want, or that is what. If we have, to, if they have like a hill, they can make terraces. Yeah. If uh, what else, you know, they, they come here and they see what they could use, um, and then like we could also apply it to their community gardens. That's like the main goal, to build a community garden in their communities. Um, and of course, we came from Israel just to do this, because I mean, <laughs> no, because in Israel, it, this is a one in a lifetime experience. In Israel, you don't get to be in this kind of climate, in the middle of the jungle, like there's no jungle in Israel. And you can't be in this kind of area and have all these resources to like experiment with. And we, like, we don't, um, I at least don't have a lot of uh, background in agriculture. So it's also like coming and learning and also having the ability to learn and teach, which is amazing to like have yeah. the knowledge and pass it on. Uh, so when you just say plant a tree, it sounds so simple, but it's, <laughs> I know. it's so much, than that, yeah, it's so We had lessons much. about the whole biology behind the tree and like what's going on behind, behind it. We each research different subjects and yeah. we taught each other. Um, but also, all, everything we do here is for a bigger goal for the communities. When you go out to the communities, we teach them how to do it, and in hope that, like, in ten years' time, when the project is over, they can they know enough that we've taught them enough um, to do it themselves, and then they can self-sustain their own. So it's not only just planting trees; it's how do you how do you plant a tree? Yeah, and, and why do you plant a tree? Or what tree? Or what tree? tree what? Yeah, because some trees. And the most important thing: how can you help the communities, or the community that, can that be? That is so, why yeah, we Everything we do is actually is really. Um, it's it's especially for the communities. Even like that, we don't we don't use a lot of expensive materials to build and to make things. And we try to um, to grow a thing, to grow plants that the communities here will use, like in their culture, that they can combine it. And even now, like a big problem in this area is uh, uh, something called the Roya disease, which is a uh, coffee rust because a lot of there are a lot of uh, coffee farms over here and they've been having a disease which is uh, eating all of their coffee plants and they're not having enough uh, coffee beans to like make and sell so now we're also we're researching that about the disease and how we can like prevent it and treat it so it's everything like specialized for it. when you think about agriculture and you think about Israel you think about the one of the most uh, development country in that area and with big technology and that why don't you use that technology here, or why Israel, do, or, that, or that, that you learn yes from Israel to Mexico? Now do you use it? That, that you have the experience, or not, or just use the things? No, we, we plan to use it. I just today talked with a special agriculture from Israel. He sent me like information pages about the subject, and we want to use the Taftafot, which is like the biggest agriculture invention of Israel, and, and we hope to have the details soon enough. That's why we didn't finish our watering system yet because we're waiting for the after food to arrive and and we always talking with people from Israel to help us and and, and discover how can you I export this to the communities here because there are many things that yeah. maybe they can work in Israel but they cannot work here because it's expensive they have to do it in their, their houses because in Israel the climates are must must much uh, different. different. Yeah. And what uh, is the response of the people when you go and, and explain them that <laughs> what they are doing is not correct or that you can do oh. something better? Because there have been many years, many planting the trees, I don't know, in which way, or, or, or the gardens. Yeah. What do they do when they say, who's coming to tell me that? Well, we don't tell them what yeah. they do is wrong. <laughs> Part of our, like, what we try to do is it's trying to have like a conversation with them. Um, a lot of also our research is by getting information from them because they've grown, grown here their whole life exactly. and they know exactly how 
the weather here works and how the ground Maybe you can learn from them more. <laughs> we can learn much more from them, I think. Um, um, like also, we're now into the second year of the program. The first two years was just researching, just understanding what environment, what do they need, who they are. Like, it's not coming. It's, we're not going. Like, oh, we people from Israel. Oh, fantastic! Come, we we have the best technology. Take it, take it, take it. <laughs> no, we don't do that at all. We like we tell them what we know. We want to know what they know. How can we work together to make it better and improve what they have here? And, and, they and they want it. Yeah, they welcome to hear us because they most of like grown coffee, and now you can see they're really they're really frust frustrated because the condition of the coffee and they don't have like enough coffee and they don't have money, so they are looking for solutions. And if someone come to them to, to, to like tell them about a solution that maybe it's not like the, the truth, but it can help them and they can try it at least because the condition is not like, the best right now. So they want to use it. They want to hear the. And tell me something. You are you are young. You are just finished maybe a, a Saba in Israel. Yes. Why? Maybe when they finish Saba, they, they like to travel. Go, some go to, to to America. Some to from America. They want to visit. And why to come to a place in the middle of the jungle for three months when you can be at the beach? When you can be traveling? You can be why to come here? I think that um, some there are some Israelis that go and they're just looking for parties and the beaches and but a lot of people really want to know and learn about different cultures and this is the place to learn about like no a culture way. yeah this is it's 100% authentic like we went to a celebration of uh, the posadas which is a holiday that they celebrate here and it's like and it's not fake it's they wear the traditional clothes clothes and they don't do it for tourists they do it because that's how they're doing it and that's how they live and that's how they celebrate and it's amazing to like we also have um, classes about mexican culture with victor and it's amazing to like really really understand and learn about a new culture and it's really satisfying to like go and help other people than just go and spend money on nothing on lying on the beach doing nothing we all are here we all want to do like we all plan to travel also afterwards i think we just Extra little special. it's a good way i mean we all it's a good way to start our trip it's a good way i mean to give back to the world i think it's a good way it's also kind of trip. I mean, we get yeah. to see a lot of, of a lot of places. We get to know the culture, as, as Ray said, and then the language better. And we also got to help and to be in contact with people here. So it's, it's like win-win. You recommend it to many people, to yeah. to young people in Mexico. Of course. Yes. Of course. Yes. yes. And our our group is just Israelis, but there are other groups that uh, Jews from other countries also come, which is also interesting because because like I've there have been past courts that were like <coughs> Belgian people or French, French people, people and Canadian and yeah, all it, of them. So it's not even that you just learn about the culture from Mexico, but you also get to know people from around the world and learn yeah. about their culture, and it's it's amazing. And just to finish, what would you say to the people from Mexico? Because you say they came from many countries in the world. But they don't come a lot from Mexico. Yeah. What would you say to the young people in Mexico that they don't have to do Tzavah? They are going maybe to Akshara one year. Or What do, they, do, do you tell them to come here? Uh, Can I say something? Sure. That, um, uh, that this program is based on Tikkun Olam to like, give to others and uh, like help fix the world. But I think that if people from Mexico come here, they're also doing Tikkun Olam and they're also doing the Jewish Valley, which is called Daniel Chakud Mim, which is to help the people that are much closer to you, your family, your friends, yes, and yes, yeah. And when Mexican people come here to help, they're actually they're helping their own country and their own community and people from their own. So I feel that that's really important. It's a place that really needs the help. I mean, we've been to crazy places that have nothing. Like it's just. Um, it's an amazing way to help and be meaningful. And it's totally different, I think. I mean, Mexico is so, has a very big variety of, of areas. And I don't know, we've been to the EFE, we've been, it's totally different from there. It's a, it's a living experience. It's a living, a really experience. Exactly. living experience. It's a living experience. Thank I, you. I know I've changed a lot here. And yeah. I'm sure. Uh, and I learned so much. I think. I think Mexican is, is a great bonus for the place. I mean, it can help us a lot, like approaching the communities and, and, and to connect more the culture and the way of they think. And, and they also can like 
learn about the Jewish culture in, culture in Israel, so it's, it's amazing. I mean, they can both help and both learn and experience and, and see a lot of places. And, so come. Thank you very much. Yeah.